the title of the experiment is current and voltage relationship. Uh, the aim of the experiment is to explore the idea of current and voltage in a circuit. In this circuit, we have the circuit diagram. The apparatus first, we have the good variable power supply to supply the voltage. Then we have a variable resistance box. We have a ammeter and we have a multimeter to serve as growth meter. So this is the power source. Now we collect, we connect the circuits in series while the growth meter will be in parallel to the power supply and other circuits. While other circuits are in series as we have it in a manner. So what we are going to do is to switch on the power supply, look at the current, current and the voltage dissipating when the rest of us are exact zero. So the next thing we do now is we leave it at 10 volts. Then we vary the resistance box. We start from hundred. So at ten. So at hundred, when the resistance is at hundred volts, is a current. A current is one point two milliamps. You record it against the resistance and the voltage 10.22 then to add 200 what is the current at 51 milliamps the voltage is now 10.24 while the power source remains at 10 volts at 300 we have it at 34 milliamps while the voltage is at 10.25 Volts. At 300 resistance, 300 ohms, 400 ohms, we have the current at 26 milliamps, while the voltage is at 10.25, still remain at 10.25. Then at 500 ohms, the current is now at 20, 21 milliamps, while the voltage is now 10.26 volts. So we record our voltage against our current for each of the, resist of the resistance, for each of the ohms. Then we plot a graph of voltage against current and find our slope to determine the slope in Ohm's law. Thank you. That's for me. That experiment.